Hello everyone and welcome to DNM Disney News and More, episode 46. As we get closer to episode 50, I'm getting more and more nervous. Why? Because it's been a long time since I did a DNM uh, live stream. And so even though I am nervous, I'm still looking forward to it. Come back, check it out. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be celebrating episode 50. I'm going to be able to interact with you guys. So I think that's very, very cool. I'm nervous about it, but I'm looking forward to it as well. Now, if you're not Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter. Consider checking me out there on social media platforms. If you like what you see, give me a follow. Now let's go ahead and talk about today's topics. And today's topics, there is a new design coming to Magic Band Plus. It's featuring the Disney's Electrical Light Parade. I think that's very cool. Uh, meet and greet is coming back to Magic Kingdom featuring Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Uh, Disney announced that there's going to be a closure or refurbishment of the Skyliner. Stay tuned for the date so that way you're not caught by surprise when you're visiting uh, Disney World for vacation. Disney Plus, um, we know that they're coming out with an ad supported uh, service, so stay tuned for that so you can find out when that starts and how much you can expect to pay. Okay. There's been a new addition to Magic Kingdom's Fireworks Show Enchantment. Stay tuned for that. Very exciting. That's actually breaking news. Very exciting news. As a matter of fact, uh, there's some new projections. So stay tuned for that. Please stay tuned for that. If you're going to stay around, stay tuned for that. And then we're going to take a look at um, the 40th anniversary of Epcot Pins. You know, a lot of people are not even aware that Epcot this year in October is celebrating 40 years, right? Like we know that Disney World uh, is celebrating 50 or Magic Kingdom is celebrating 50, but Epcot is celebrating 40 and they came out with some pins. So stay tuned for that as well. I think they're awesome pins. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the new feature over at my Disney Experience app. You know, they just gave us the car locator feature. And if you're not taking advantage of that, what are you waiting for? Take advantage of it. Now you can kind of put on the My Disney Experience app where you parked, you know, whether you parked in um, Woody's and then what section you parked in. And now when you leave the park, you can actually go into my car locator and uh, kind of find your parking spot right away. As a matter of fact, as you exit the park, it sends you a notification letting you know where you parked. Take advantage of that, but just recently, Disney came out with the transportation feature. Um, which is pretty pretty cool. So if you're thinking of taking any type of transportation that Disney offers Whether it's the Skyliner, the minivan, uh, whether it's the bus service, whether it's the monorail or the water transportation You can kind of pick what you want to take So let's say for example you want to take the bus over from Magic Kingdom over to Aruba at Disney Caribbean Resort uh, You can kind of choose. It'll tell you how long it's going to take you to get there whether it's the bus or whether it's Skyliner and then it's going to also show you where you can actually jump on these uh, transportations so take advantage of that my recommendation to you is go to my Disney experience app and kind of kind of play around with the feature so you can have a better idea how to use it but nonetheless make sure you use it you know these are some features that are all available on one app rather than using just different ones um, and I think it's pretty cool for me I haven't, I'm not one that's very schooled in taking all these different transportations. In many occasions, I've had, I, have, I have asked myself, if I was in Disney Springs and I want to take a bus to the resort, which one do I take? Well, now you're going to be able to find out thanks to this picture. Okay, so just take advantage of that and you can thank me later. Now, speaking of transportation, uh, Disney has announced that they're going to be closing the Skyliner for refurbishment between January January the 22nd through January the 29th. Okay. Now, I know it's a long time before that happens, right? It's a long time before January comes around. But, you know, you might be planning for vacation today to come here in January. And that's the reason why I like to bring this type of news. So that way you're prepared whenever you do come over here. And you can remember to have your spoke about this all the way back in August, okay? And again, 
whenever you see this logo here of my Disney Experience app, my recommendation to you is to always go in the app and actually check and see what's available because this is Disney. They're going to tell you exactly what's available, what's closed, what meet and greets are available, everything. So always check out my Disney Experience app. Take my information with a grain of salt. Always confirm it with my Disney Experience app, okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about the new design for the Magic Band Plus. Uh, coming Wednesday, August the 17th, beginning at 7 a.m., you can go to a uh, Disney store and purchase this online. I think it's very, very cool. I would, I would have loved to have bought this, especially if I was a Disney Electrical Light Parade fan, right? I've never seen this parade live or in person. Um, you know, here in uh, Walt Disney World, we've had merchandise. We have a lot. We've had a lot of plush dolls. We've had a lot of stuff going on as far as things to this parade. Uh, and now we're getting the, the the Magic Band Plus right with this design. I'm only wondering, Disney, what's going on? Are you going to bring this parade over to Walt Disney World? You know. Let us know because so much merchandise is going on and we don't even have this parade <laughs> down here. So, uh, could it be kind of like hinting at us that it's coming? Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But I think this design is pretty, pretty cool. So, if you have not bought your Magic Band Plus, um, which as a matter of fact, there's a couple of new features, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be talking about it when we get to the Epcot segment. But if you're a fan of this parade, and you have not purchased the Magic Band Plus, now's your opportunity. Beginning on August the 7th at 7 a.m., you could go to Disney Shop and buy it. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a huge advocate of D23. I am a gold member, uh, and then you might be asking, what is D23? Well, it's the official Disney Fan Club. And uh, if you become a member, uh, there are a lot of perks, discounts, special events, so forth and so on. We know that D23 um, Expo is coming soon. So, you know, just take advantage of it. I'm always going to say, go to D23.com, check it out. Uh, it's $99 for the whole year if you're doing it for one person, $129 for two people. It's definitely worth it. And one of the perks that they're offering um, is 23% off the MSRP if you're looking to buy a Citizen Watch. Right, so they came out with over here. As you can see, it says official countdown to D23. It says 23 days left, and uh, it is presented by Citizen. So if you're in the market looking for a watch purchase, we know Citizen is a known brand, very good brand. Uh, watches will last you forever, but you can get 23% off, obviously for D23, right? 23% off, and that promotion is good all the way through September the 8th. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now you do have to be a gold member. You do have to go to uh, uh, d23.com, sign in as the gold member, and then hit the link, and it'll take you to my uh, citizens website where you can obviously take advantage of this 23% off. I think 23% off is a good, it's a good discount. So take advantage of it. Again, if you're not a D23 gold member, check it out. Check it out. Just check it out. Just check it out. It's going to cost you zero to check it out. And if you like what you see, $99 a year, I think it's then worth it, okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about Disney Plus. We know that Disney Plus is coming with an ad-supported service. Now you're wondering, when is that going to start? Or maybe you're wondering, how much is it going to cost? Well, December the 8th is the start date. They're going to make a change. Now they're going to be um, having two different plans. Um, one of them is the basic one that includes the ads. You can, you're going to pay $7.99. Now, if you're looking to do no ads, which is probably something that I would do, I don't like ads. Uh, it's the premium one, and you would pay $10.99. Now, I'm going to give you a tip. I am a Verizon Wireless customer, and when I got my phone back in the day, I don't know if it's available today, but back in the day, one of the features that you can uh, select was to get Disney Plus on them. So that's what I have. Uh, obviously, right now I don't have any ads because this doesn't start until December the 8th. Uh, but because I am a Verizon Partners customer, they are giving me Disney Plus. So I'm not paying for it. Now, is this 
for the change on December the 8th. I don't know if they're going to change me over to the basic or they're going to keep me on the premium. I have no idea. All I can say is, Verizon Wireless, I'm spending a lot of money with you. You better not give me the basic. And if you do, it is what it is. But I want to have the premium, no ads. But anyway, these are the plans. These are the monthly fees. And it begins December the 8th. Okay, keep that in mind. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the theme parks. Over at Magic Kingdom, a great thing has returned. What is that? Meet and greet with Winnie and Tigger. It's been a long time. We've heard that they're also going to be returning over the, to the Crystal Palace, the Magic Kingdom. Uh, over at Magic Kingdom, though, you're going to be able to meet not only Winnie and Tigger, but you can also meet Piglet, and uh, you can also meet... Um, Eeyore. But over here, next to the attraction, Winnie the Pooh, uh, you can meet Winnie and Tigger again, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Now, I think they do show, I, I think they do meet and greet every 30 minutes, beginning at 10.45 in the morning. But again, it, whenever you see the Disney, my Disney Experience logo on my screen, that is telling you to check out the app for date and times, okay? You can always take my information with a grain of salt. Always confirm it with my Disney Experience app. So you can go in there, check on date and time, and give you all the information. Very accurate, obviously. They want to make sure that, you know, you're not being let down. Whether they're not doing the meet and greet today, it, it's going to say not available. And if they are, it's going to tell you exactly what date and time. So always, always, always confirm with my Disney Experience app. That is my suggestion to you let's go ahead and move forward in magic kingdom something very exciting is happening so yesterday right the 15th of august we were told that they were going to be doing a testing of the fireworks show now a lot of people speculated that it was the testing for the christmas fireworks show but we were all wrong Thank to, thanks to Mike Wheeler and his handle over here in Twitter is at wheels underscore 518. I was able to obtain these photographs. Now these photographs, as you can see here, you can see Walt on the projection on the Cinderella castle. You could also see uh, Roy and Mickey as he was doing the dedication of Magic Kingdom, right? And then you can also see here at the bottom, Walt Disney talk about the Florida project, right? So I think this is such a cool enhancement. I think this is something that we've all been waiting for, that we can all be excited about, to finally be able to see Walt Disney and Roy with Mickey on, for as, it was added, as it is projected on the Cinderella Castle. Obviously, we're celebrating 50 years of Magic Kingdom, and I think this is an awesome homage to the pioneers who began everything. You know, Walt Disney said it all began with the mouse. No, sir, it began with you. You had the idea, you had the dream, and you made it happen in many ways. And then you had your brother who persisted on making your dream come true. So these two gentlemen, I'm glad they're being honored. And I'm very glad to see this new update. And I'm very, I'm looking very forward to watching the fireworks show with Paul. Obviously, there's going to be a plethora of videos showing it. I'm hoping to be able to see it firsthand for the first time when it first comes out. Maybe I might bring a video. I don't know. But I'm just so happy that this is coming. And I want to again, uh, again, I want to thank Mike Wheeler at Twitter. His handle is at wheels underscore underscore 518. Awesome. So that's what I have for Magic Kingdom. Let's go ahead and jump into Epcot News. Over in Epcot, again, as I mentioned previously, we've been talking about 50 years, right, for Magic Kingdom, but Epcot on October the 1st is celebrating 40 years. And now we take a first look, right? We can take a look at the uh, 40th anniversary pins that are going to be available to us for the 40th anniversary of Epcot. 
and some of these fans, as you can see, it's kind of like they're kind of presenting all the pavilions with different characters. You have Miguel over at Magic King, uh, Mexico, sorry. You have Olaf in Norway. Uh, you have Mushu in China. Uh, you have Goofy in Germany. Uh, Pinocchio in Italy. Mickey and Minnie at America's Adventure, so forth and so on. So, so cool. Uh, you also have um, Chip and Bell in Canada. It's kind of hard to see the other ones. I don't have a pretty good image, uh, but we see right away in France. Uh, Morocco, I cannot, kind of, can't kind of figure that out. The photograph is not too bright. It's not too good. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you what the pins look like. It's kind of, it's not a first look. Uh, it's kind of been out thanks to uh, Disney Pins blog. Uh, but just to kind of give you a sneak peek into what the Disney Pins look like uh, celebrating Epcot 40. So I think this is pretty cool. Epcot is turning 40. I'm sure they're going to be doing a lot of events uh, for that occasion. And I'm looking very forward to it, actually. And it's right around the corner. Like, literally right around the corner. About a month and a half from now. But anyway, these are the pins. If you're a pin collector, this is definitely something that you want to jump on. Okay, friends. Um, if you've ever been to Epcot, as soon as you enter World Showcase, you can actually catch one of these friendship boats over to friends. So, pro tip. If you're tired, your legs are tired, and you don't want to walk anymore. Maybe you've walked around all... Uh, world showcase and now you want to take a breather now you want to take a rest you can actually take a friendship boat from france over to the entrance as you enter from spaceship earth into world showcase you can actually catch this boat and kind of take a breather right but this is also some boats that you can take to the resorts now they just recently got a paint job now they're sporting the red, white, and blue, which I think is awesome. The red, white, and blue, that wasn't what the colors that they were sporting. Uh, but now I'm looking forward to going to Epcot and jumping on one of these friendship boats so I can experience it with my family. And it's all about experiencing my family for me. So I just wanted to bring that to you because like for me, I've been trying to jump on this boat in Epcot and I haven't been able to, and I was wondering what the heck's going on. Well, now I know, like I said, a new paint job. Uh, so now they're all running regularly, like they always have, but now they're sporting the red, white, and blue, which I think is so, so cool, so awesome. Definitely, definitely looking forward to jumping on here. Very cool. If you've never done that, do so. I jumped on it for the first time, and I, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I've never done this. So again, this will take you from the entrance as soon as you enter a world showcase, and this will take you all the way to France. As you can see, this is, this is where it actually parks. And then on the right hand side, you got friends. Uh, and so that's pretty cool. You got this Morocco right in front of you. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I've never jumped on it. I jumped on it the other day, and my wife was like, I gotta do it. <laughs> but anyway, they're sporting the red, white, and blue. It's pretty cool. It's got that, it's got the Walt Disney World logo on there. So I think that's cool. All right, friends. Now, we spoke about Match Band Plus, right? Now, Match Band Plus, it's not all about. Uh, the fireworks shows is not all about the 50 year anniversary statues. Now, Disney has added a couple of interactions with the attractions. Uh, two of them at Epcot, one of them being Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, and the other one being Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So, as you end the attract, as you exit the attraction, right, it is a post ride experience. You're going to be able to feel that vibration. And uh, again, you know, I think that the Disney Band Plus or the Magic Band Plus, I should say. Uh, there's a lot of things that they can do with this. A lot of people are like, uh, you know, hesitant in buying them. I think it's just there, it's just the tip of the iceberg as far as what you're gonna be able to experience if you purchase one of these babies here. Now, again, you know, you can be, you're gonna purchase the lighting of the Magic Band Plus as you're watching Firework Show, uh, the be uh, Beacons of Magic, you know, also uh, activate uh, the Magic Band Plus. Now, as you can see, a couple of attractions have been added to it. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things that they're gonna come out with um, that will make it worthwhile buying a Magic Band Plus. So again, these are two attractions that you're gonna be able to experience um, sometimes, something, you know, maybe even the half take, the vibration uh, as you exit the attraction. But again, it's only the beginning as to what. And again, if you haven't uh, purchased one, 
now we have the Disney Electrical Light Parade um, design available to you. And I have one again, like I said, I haven't really done a lot of it with him. Uh, I haven't even done a bounty hunting. Uh, I've done a couple of 50 year anniversary statues, but I'm excited to see what's uh, in the future for these Magic Band Plus. And friends, some of the articles, some of the photographs that I get are from these websites here, so I want to give props to them. And this show has come to an end. So I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for being here. Continue to watch and stay tuned, especially for episode 50 where I'm doing a live show. You're going to be able to interact with me. You can ask me some questions. We're going to have a lot of fun. Okay? So again, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying tuned to episode 46. And I'm going to end this video like I always do. We came, we saw, and we conquered. And do me a favor. Have a wonderful day. Peace.